Hi, this is Marita from Ruby Soup with Pearl Juice. And when this video is being filmed, it is Wednesday, the 28th of March. And this year's Astrid Lindgren Memorial Prize has just been announced. And I was thrilled this morning to wake up and look at the newspaper and see that the black American author, Jacqueline Woodson, who has written picture books, middle grade books, and young adult literature, was this year's winner. For those who don't know, the Alma Prize, or the Astrid Lindgren Memorial Prize, is a prize that has been created, as you can tell from the title, in honor of the Swedish children's author, Astrid Lindgren. This prize is also kind of noteworthy in that it's often considered the Nobel Prize for children's and young adult literature. So basically, when an author who writes for children or young adults receives this prize, it is like equivalent to receiving the Nobel Prize in literature. And Jacqueline Woodson is a black American author who has been writing for quite a while. And she's kind of known for taking up really heavy topics. She's written about poverty, being in the witness protection system. She's talked about interracial relationships and she has also featured LGBTQ characters in her books. And she's an author that I've always wanted to read more from, but I just never really got around to it. But because now she has won this prize, I am actually going to make it my mission to finally delve into Miss Woodson's work. The first one that I'm going to read is Brown Girl Dreaming, which is kind of like a novel in verse for middle grade readers. And it's kind of like a memoir of sorts. It's about Miss Woodson's childhood. When this was published in, I think it was 2016 or maybe it was 2015, it really blew up in the literary world. So that's going to be really exciting. For people that are maybe wondering, the Alma Prize is a prize that I really respect. I have discovered a lot of really fantastic authors through this prize. For instance, Gus Coyer, who is an author from the Netherlands, he has written middle grade books that deal with domestic abuse, Alzheimer's disease, and he has also kind of talked about a multicultural, very diverse Amsterdam and talked about issues such as immigration and refugees. And also he has featured interracial couples in his books. His books are like very funny, but also very heartwarming. And they have just fantastic characters. I have done a review of his book. The Book of Everything, which is about domestic abuse. I'll link it down below. I've blogged about it. I also discovered the Brazilian children's author, Lugia Boyunga, when I was reading Alma Prize winners. She won the Alma Prize in 2004. I actually wrote my master's degree thesis on her books. I discussed uh, how she was talking about masculinity in her books. I'm going to do a separate video on that. So I'm going to keep this super brief, but if you're interested to know more about her work, I'm going to link below two blog posts that I've done on her work. Then the third recommendation that I'm going to do like this very briefly is the Argentinian picture books author, Isol. This picture book, Petit the Monster, it's a very existential book that kind of ponders these questions of good and evil and about what does it mean that we sometimes do very selfish things, but then we sometimes do very altruistic things? And is it that we are kind of like a little monster or are we something else? And this is all kind of described from a very, from a child's point of view and perspective. And it's, it's quite funny, but it also is very philosophical. And she has a lot of picture books that are translated into English. She also writes in Spanish. So for English speakers and Spanish speakers out there, you should definitely check her out. So as a, just a little bit of a recap, I'll just summarize how I felt about this year's Alma Price winner. Uh, I am overjoyed. I am so thrilled that Jacqueline Woodson won this year's Alma Prize. 
I'm an overseas American and to be kind of like just say how I genuinely have experienced how here in Europe we talk about American literature is that it's a very whitewashed conversation and often the authors from America that are spotlighted here in Europe are the white ones. So I am really happy that Jacqueline Woodson, who is a black American author, received this grand prize. And not only that, I am thrilled that it is a black female author. I also am really excited that it was a writer of color who won a important award for children's and young adult literature because that genre, you know, even like all over the world is often quite whitewashed despite that there's a lot of really talented writers of color that write for children and for young adults. So I think this prize may a little bit start a conversation around that and also motivate a little bit more of a diversifying of reading children's literature. So that was all for today. Have you guys heard of the Alma Prize before? What did you think about this year's winner? I would love to hear your thoughts. Comment down below. If you like this video, Click the like button, subscribe, and I'll see you all later. Bye-bye.